Hey, Don Copeland here, and we're gonna go through a little bit on our continuing series now on comparing this different types of uh, decoration equipment and seeing what's the best fit for your company. A lot of them are gonna be comparing to our, our DTF printers. This is a DTF uh, 24H2. We also have the H4 as well, which is a forehead machine. So we're gonna compare some other decoration methods. And I think what we're probably gonna find when we're done with all these videos, that you need some combination of the equipment. So this, on this one, we're gonna go through and we're gonna compare the DTF process here with sublimation. Sublimation is one of the oldest type of custom decoration processes that's been around. I've been in the industry for over 30 years and that's about the time when the, the full color uh, sublimation came out. It wasn't an inkjet like it is now, it was back in film based, but it's still the concept of being able to do a short run, high color, custom type of prints, uh, started really with sublimation. Beauty of sublimation, this is a sublimation shirt we got right here. Really nice tonal transfers like here on the sunset, and it stretches well, and it has no hand, right? In fact, these are actually these shirts I'm going to compare, this is the exact same shirt. These are uh, the, the Vapor uh, apparel that we sell on uh, Coleman and Company. No hand at all. Literally, you would not know where this print was if you closed your eyes and felt you wouldn't be able to tell me if there was a print there or not. However, this is also same material. This is actually done on the DTF. Nice transitions in here. All right. It does, however, have a little bit of a hand. Not as heavy of a hand as, let's say, a vinyl transfer or something like that, which is one of the ways that people would have done this type of material prior to the DTF. But it's still a very soft hand, not as soft as a sublimation. However, if this was a cotton shirt, it'd be a whole different story. Sublimation really needs a synthetic substrate or a treatment on a cotton shirt to be able to transfer to it. So therein is where we started to see a break in the differences between the processes. Sublimation, relatively inexpensive to get into. You can get solutions down to five or $600 area to do sublimation transfers with. You can go up to, you know, maybe ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 for large sublimation transfer printers. Um, you know, one of the real areas where sublimation is huge right now is a cut and sew marketplace where you know you have these shirts all over shirts. I think of like biker shirts. I don't mean like motorcycle bikers, I mean like bicycle bikers type of shirts where they're all over prints. They actually print that out on solid transfers that are then transferred to solid pieces of material which are then cut and sewn and made into garments. Absolutely a real strong point of sublimation there. Also the entry point of it is great. Another thing with sublimation that you can't do with a DTF, you can do items that are rigid goods coffee mugs. I mean, if you go up to Coleman and Company, you're going to see all kinds of products we have. Christmas ornaments, plates, things like that, that you can do transfers to with sublimation that you aren't going to do with DTF. Very complimentary. Probably it's probably the least expensive complimentary item that you can add to your business is a sublimation printer. But you've got to know where its, where its limitations are. When you get into the DTF, large runs, again, we, we've talked about it in a lot of these videos, knock out 100, 150 transfers in an hour with DTF, it goes to a ton of different types of materials, cotton, hemp, you know, all of your polyesters, your, your performance wear, things like that, that not other type of methods will work with. And certainly you're definitely not gonna do cotton with sublimation, which you're gonna pick up when you go to the, the DTF. So there is a differentiation there, obviously, footprint on one of these printers can be very small. It can just be a desktop printer you're sitting there. You're in this marketplace, you probably already have a heat press, which you're going to use on both of these. And you know, you, you, you have the opportunity to add other types of presses for this, mug presses, smaller flat presses and things to do a lot of the other types of items with. But it's not going to go through the high volume that you can do with a DTF. And it's not going to give you the variability in substrates. Again, polyester, synthetics, only or treated cottons that have basically a treatment on them that is a polyester type of treatment. Whereas with the DTF, it is literally all the, the different types of materials that you would do for different types of apparel. Just can't do mugs and rigid goods with it. When you start to look at price, we're looking mid 20s to the 30s for a full DTF solution. Relatively big footprint compared to sublimation, desktop. Even if you go into a mid-size sublimation printer or you know our partners Muto, they sell a, a 
44 inch wide solutions and things like that, they're still just this printer size at the max, right? Until you start to add on the finishing equipment with those, if you're gonna be doing, you know, like the overall print shirts and stuff, then you need a, a, a large heating element, which adds a whole nother curve to it, which most of the folks that we're dealing with in this industry are more about going to a finished good, like these type of shirts. Small footprint, relatively low investment, extended gamut of items you can transfer to that are not apparel related, but a very narrow amount of types of materials that you can actually do a t-shirt transfer to. High productivity, you know, the ability to do multiple types of materials, good for long run, good for medium sized runs. You can do massive runs of customization with the, the DTF opens up a lot of opportunity for other type of business, such as wholesale business selling transfers to people, which you're not gonna get a lot of that for sublimation. You probably could find, but you're gonna find that the cost per print on these type of prints, especially on the smaller the printer you go, the higher your cost is in consumables. Whereas DTF, if you've got it running, you're, you're already getting wholesale pricing on your inks, your powder, and your film and you're be, being able to knock off two, three, four hundred dollars an hour just on transfers or other businesses, much less when you start doing your own type of thing and then you're adding in the profit on the shirts as well. So that kind of a sum, to summarize that up, small footprint, low investment up front, great for a lot of products, limited application in the apparel industry, moderate investment with the, DT, the DTF type of printers, better for higher volume, wide range of type of substrates that you can print to of, of fabrics but not so much into the rigid goods so gives you a little bit of material to chew on and think about and see what is the best fit for your business probably complimentary if you look at it really that you should have a sublimation printer regardless of what you're doing and dtf is a great new investment for your business